everyone, what's up? I'm Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you how you can boot from a CD in Hyper-V. It may sound super specific, but essentially, if you've forgotten your virtual machine password, or simply need some other kind of recovery, etc., you'll need to boot from a disk drive, or rather a disk image, such as maybe, let's say, Hyrin's boot CD. How do you do this in Hyper-V? Well, it's pretty simple. Start by opening up Hyper-V, finding the virtual machine causing the issue, then make sure it's set to off. Otherwise, simply open it and click the shut down button at the very top. Then right click it, choose settings, and in here, head to the SCSI controller section followed by DVD drive. This may be something else. In older virtual machines, it could be IDE, etc. We're looking for a disk drive. If you don't see one, head to your controller, choose DVD drive, and add a DVD drive controller. Then inside of our drive, we can select image file and choose browse to navigate to an ISO file. For example, Hiren's boot CD is what I'll be booting this system into. After you've navigated to and selected an ISO file, whether it's installation media, etc., simply click apply. And at this point, you may already be able to boot to it, but odds are probably not, especially if you're using a Windows virtual machine. Head across to the security section and in here, disable secure boot for now. Apply and on the firmware tab at the very top, this could also be called BIOS, simply make sure that DVD drive is all the way at the top of the list. If not, select it and drag it all the way up as such by clicking move up. Then choose apply and OK. Now we can boot into the actual virtual machine and this time, you'll see, while it's booting up, it simply fires up from the disk drive or ISO file. It's as simple as that. From here, you can recover your password, install a different operating system, etc., whatever you were trying to do in the first place. When you're done, simply shut it down, right-click your system once more, settings, and make sure that if you turned off, secure boot, you re-enable it, and on the DVD drive tab, you may want to select none here as well. Finally, on the firmware section, if you choose not to remove the installation or recover media, make sure you move it down on the list so that it doesn't boot from that drive by default once more. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.